Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, radio noise and RFI radio frequency interferences and um, I'll have a few tips this week and a few things that I'll show you on how different things are when it's not as noisy um, you know I go to my little urban D expeditions and uh, two things uh, two reasons why. One is because it's nice to get out of the house and go into, you know, a little more nat nature area, even though it's, it's still in the city. There's some really nice, um, you know, wooded and natural uh, areas around here that are cool to go and have a walk and spend an afternoon. Uh, but the other side of my urban D expeditions is to lower noise because, you know, as you go far away from homes, you notice that the noise is dropping. And this is a big problem. Um, unfortunately, there's quite a few people that, you know, uh, get on the channel and say, you know what, I don't get nothing on my radio. And even to a point where some people think sometimes that the radio might be defective. Um, you know, I had a message today, one of the comments today on one of the videos of, well, you know, there's so much interference where I live, I don't hear nothing. And that is the sad part of a shortwave listener. You know, you might buy a shortwave radio, being all excited, seeing the videos that I post here and the things I listen to, and come to a, uh, a point where you're um, just thinking, well, I'm not getting anything, you know? And, of course, that's um, the perfect way to, you know, get out of the hobby because you might be uh, sad to see that, unfortunately, you're not getting anything on the radio. One of the things that you've got to um, understand is um, in, in 2020, noise levels are very high. Electronic devices all around us are creating a lot of noise. In some cases, it's cool because you might actually find that your own home, you might have some devices that do the noise and that you can unplug them while you're doing some radio listening there's a good chance that it's not you. There's a good chance that it's your next door neighbor or, uh, you know, in your neighborhood, something is creating a lot of noise. And that, of course, means you'll have to mitigate. You'll have to find ways to do radio listening differently. And I thought this week I'd give a few tips and a few ways that I mitigate the noise and try to get some interesting listening if uh, I can't. One of the things that I want to say is your best bet in a urban environment if you've got nothing and you want to, you know, take a chance. It's not very expensive for taking a chance. And it's what you see here on the screen, which is an MLA30 loop antenna, 40-ish dollars. And uh, this is probably something that could help you. It's not, like I say, a miracle antenna. This is not... Um, you know, um, it's not necessarily 100% sure that it's going to give your radio listening back. But for noisy environments, this tends to lower the noise and actually make what we call a better signal-to-noise ratio. And the reason is, um, is that magnetic loops have a different way of actually getting a radio signal. And so some of the noise that devices create aren't getting into the antenna as much. Also, because it's very directional, you can put it in a position where it's the lowest noise possible. And that is important to, uh, to note. Um, so that could be a possibility but or else what else you can do we'll try to have a few tips but of course getting out of the house going away from houses even if it's just a local park you'd be surprised at how low the noise can be uh, even if you're not that far away from you know a neighborhood and of course like i said we'll have some demonstrations of that this week with some radio signals and you'll see the huge difference between different areas and, you know, have little tips on how to maybe set up and try to get some shortwave reception back. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.